Santiago Ramón y Cajal was above all a scientist, specializing in neuroscience and histology. But like all great men, he was a Renaissance man, meaning his knowledge and skill was broad and he didn't confine himself to a single field. His skill in painting and drawing was well above average, and he made regular contributions to literature. Most of his literature is related to biology and the brain, but there is one short book he wrote in 1897 called Advice to a Young Investigator that is relevant to pretty much anyone interested in science, philosophy, and the investigation of things. Quoted from the introduction, he states, in my view, some advice about what should be known, about what technical education should be acquired, about the intense motivation needed to succeed, and about the carelessness and inclination toward bias that must be avoided, is far more useful than all the rules and warnings of theoretical logic. This is the justification for the present work, which contains those encouraging words and paternal admonitions that the writer would have liked so much to receive at the beginning of his own modest scientific career. He also states, My remarks may prove comforting and useful to the large number of modest individuals with a retiring nature who, despite yearning for reputation, have not yet reaped the desired harvest, due either to a certain lack of determination or to misdirected efforts. Most of his quotes and aphorisms can be traced to this book, such as, The mediocre can be educated, Geniuses educate themselves. On a side note, if you're wondering why he has two last names, it's simply because this is a traditional custom in Spain. The first surname comes from the father, the second from the mother. Don't forget to like and subscribe.